Hey guys, Ketan again back with another video and today we are going to be solving another problem from beginner level of Kochev and the problem that we are going to be solving today is the block game. Okay. So the problem code is PALL01. So let's see uh, what's the prob uh, problem statement is. The, the citizens of Byteland regularly play a game. They have blocks each denoting some integer from 0 to 9. They are arranged together in a random manner without seeing to, uh, without seeing to form different numbers, keeping in mind that the first block is number 0. Okay. Once they form a number, they read it in the reverse order to check if the number and its reverse is the same. If both are same, then the player wins. We call such numbers palindrome. Ash happens to see this game and wants to simulate the same in the computer. As a first step, he wants to take an input from the user and check if the number is palindrome and declare if the user wins or not. Okay, so this is uh, a problem that is indirectly asking us to check if the given uh, number is a palindromic number or not. Uh, uh, it's a palindrome problem. So, uh, what is a palindrome? Well, if you have a number and if you write it in reverse, let's take 331. So what's the reverse? 1, 3, 3. Okay. So is 3, 3, 1 equal to 1, 3, 3? No. Then what happens? Well, if... Well, uh, then it's not called a palindrome. Okay. So we have 6, 6, 6. What's the reverse of that? The reverse is exactly same, 6, 6, 6. Then it's a palindrome. Okay. And then we got 3, 4, 3. And the reverse is also 3, 4, 3. Then it's a palindrome. Right. So we got, let's say, 7, 5, 5, 9. Right, and then what's the reverse? Sorry, uh, uh, seven five five seven, and what's the reverse? Seven five five seven. Right, then it's also a palindrome. And if you have seven five five nine, then it's not a palindrome because the first number will be nine if you do it in the reverse. Right. So I think you guys understood what what a palindrome is. So we just need to check if it's a palindrome or not. And if it's if it is a palindrome, we just need to output wins. Otherwise, we output loses. Okay. It's a very straightforward uh, problem. And yeah. So we got test cases and then we got the n. So uh, what I'll be doing in Python is instead of taking it as an integer, I'll just be taking it as a string. So when we call the input function, it returns a string. So now we got n and then if n equals to It's reverse, then we'll be printing wins. Is it uh, small? Yeah, I think it's a small w. Else we'll just print loses. Okay, so it's losses. Okay. So guys, this is uh, string slicing. So what we are doing here is, so I'll, I'll try to explain it uh, here. So when we are, uh, when we want only a part of the string, then we use string slicing and how it works is, let's say s equal to one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you want only two, three, four of that, we can refer to it as, uh, the, well, what's the index of we want 2, 3 and 4, right? What's the index of the starting element? 2. 0 is for 1 and 1 index 1 is for uh, value 2, right? So we need to put 1. So that will be included. And from 1 to which number do we want? Which index do we want? This is 0. Index 0. This is uh, index 1. That is the starting index. And then we got index 2. And then we got index uh, 3 with this, right? But if we put 3, we'll only get 2 and 3, okay? Because uh, this number is an excluded number. So what what this uh, says to Python interpreter is, include uh, s of 1 and also s of 2, but don't include s of 3, okay? So if you want 4 also, then what we need to do is put 4 here, okay? So what this says is, uh, we are getting s of 1, s of 2, and also s of 3. So 4 is not included, okay? So this is what string slicing is. Now, we can also have another column here saying that, uh, let's say 3. 
so what this does is or, or rather let's say two okay so this is called the periodicity column and what this does is let's say we got six seven eight nine okay and we said one two eight and two so what this does is so we got the what's the first index s of one this is two now uh, from s of one to s of seven which will be s of one s of two s of three s of five so the in all of these numbers take the se uh, take the second number uh, okay uh, take the second consecutive number for each element okay so when we are starting we get two and then we we exclude three and then we go to four so we'll be we'll be getting two and four we are excluding three okay then we are excluding five and then we are going to six then we are excluding seven we are going to eight okay so we get two four six and eight okay guys so, so that is basically string slicing and when we use uh, a string slice in this format where we don't have a starting index and we don't have an ending index but we have the periodicity as minus one then that indicates that we just want the uh, string to be presented as the reverse of that string so what we'll be getting is 9876543 okay so that's basically what uh, string slicing is and that, that's what that statement is indicating over there so we are checking if the normal interpretation interpretation is same as the reverse of that so if it is then it's a palindrome then we get to say that it uh, bins uh, we just print wins otherwise we will print losses so let's check uh, if that works it definitely should work so we should be getting lo losses wins wins that's what we got let's submit it there we go all right thank you guys thank you for watching and if you like the video please hit the like button and if you uh, want to watch more content please do subscribe and if you have any friend who is also interested in programming and is struggling with st getting started with the problems or trying to uh, solve different problems please feel free to share the videos uh, yeah if you have any comments please comment so that i can get the feedback and improve myself thank you guys